Hello everyone, I'm back at Aldi. <laughs> Maybe the karma gods have got back at me for being so mean to Mario. I've got to return something I bought. Had a shocking week of uh, buying stuff this week and I dare say this tops it off. I thought I got very lucky when I grabbed this. I've been trying to get one of these for about six months, so well, I got it. But in the end, I should have looked a little bit more carefully at the box and maybe we will divulge a story in this video. Maybe I'm having this bad luck because I had to go at the trolley man because I pointed out to him a little trolley trap that's going on here. Okay, here is my little consumer report. Because I wasn't given this item, I had to buy it from Aldi for $299 of the Cocoon Create Model Maker 3D Printer which apparently is a rebadged Wano printer of some variant. The experts can tell me which one it is. Yes, maybe I should have looked more carefully at the box before I picked it up out of store. I did have a choice of one other. Uh, when I purchased this, another person had grabbed the two options that were there. And I did wander to another Aldi store, the one at Hornsby Westfield. I noticed there were lots of the printers sitting in there, so this printer didn't seem to be as popular as that. $500 printer from six months ago and that $500 was the $500 that became Bitcoin money for me under a Bitcoin experiment Maybe I should have put the $299 of this printer into Bitcoin from what I see going on Now the first thing I will address here is why do you need a 3d printer and I nearly didn't buy this It wasn't until my very nice YouTube friend who's a personal friend as well that I got to know over the years Who's heavily into 3d printers. He said to me buy it as an educational thing for your children. That's why I bought this printer and the one thing I noticed was both my children, who are very different ages, were both very excited to see a 3D printer in the house. They seemed to connect to this far better than I did. I can tell you it was a very easy printer to set up, but I did notice there was a bit of a problem with the SD card reader slot. It was, well, let's just say dysfunctional. In fact, a little spring and a clip came out of this, and I had a lot of trouble mounting the SD card so it would read to see the files on this card. It needs to see these files to be able to know what to print. After several attempts of getting the card to be seen by the printer and resetting it and trying everything that I could, I finally got the SD card to mount so the printer could see the files. The pamphlet that came with the printer suggested to make a cute dragon. I did so, but I only had the small spool of black filament there. And then I had to quickly learn how to pause a print and put a bigger spool on. It was a great learning curve. I learned lots of things in the short time they had this printer. But I also learned that, uh, well, maybe you need a 3D printer which has a heated bed. This printer doesn't have a heated bed and it becomes problematic when you start to do other styles of prints. Having this printer made me call friends and look up things online to try and resolve issues and people suggested to print at a higher temperature on 2D things. So I tried another rocket again, but the higher temperature didn't stop the problem of the print peeling away from the bed of the printer. I did end up finishing one of the cute dragons and it took about six, maybe seven hours to print that. It was one of these things that churned on all night. And what I found was when the printer was doing its work, it's actually quite a nice sound. I actually quite like the way this thing worked. To me, it felt like it had a quality build, but as I've seen so many times with things that come out of China, you can have one defective piece in the build and it renders the whole unit totally useless. Overall, as an ease of use of this device, I found the menu to be very simple and to come in there and make some custom settings is also very simple. It's actually not that hard to get your head around and there was a good little YouTube site that was talking about this printer. I think it was WinPlus Australia was very handy in the setup of this printer. From what I was reading online about this printer, I think it's a little bit of a toy and I'm trying to say that in the nicest way. It's probably the perfect printer to start off with to get a feel for what's going on here. But maybe spending a little bit more money and buying something a little bit more high end would be a much better thing to do. So if there is ever another next time I'll buy one of these 3D printers from Aldi, I will be taking a much more careful look at the box before I pull it out of store. I noticed there were cut marks across the top of the box, cardboard missing. I also noticed there was tape over tape. This box has been got into before. It started to feel like it had been reboxed, and inside I didn't see the cable ties around the bed of the unit as I saw on the WinPlus YouTube videos in their unboxing. I highly suspect... This unit has been out of the box before and reboxed. That was my gut feeling once I started to see what was going on and the way the box had been cut and opened before. For me, it really topped off what was a shocking week of retail messiness as I seem to stumble across in Australia all the time. 
The really nice safety valve to this messiness is the fact that Aldi have an excellent product return policy that's limited by time, but there's no questions asked when you take it back. And I did leave notes on the 3D printer to where the problem area was. I dare say the people who distribute this can easily have this repaired and back out for sale. But be careful because you'll know my box because it's the one which has the cuts across the top. I know, I know you're asking, Leo, the trolley trap, is it still there? Let's take a look. Well, down in the trolley bay, the one which is the only other trolley bay down in the car park is still set up. Apparently they are damaged trolleys and there's no way to return the trolley to that one there because the little key bit's missing. We've got like a foreign ringing trolley here and there's more and more rubbish being stacked up in this trolley here. It just gets more fantastic by the day. And yes, that little propane butane cylinder is still here. I was only joking when I said I was going to take it home. It's still laying here. There's still hope yet. Yeah, maybe one day this will be sorted out. I'm a trendsetter because I like to use the area that nobody else uses. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so that, you can't use that. That's a bit of a trap, isn't it, hey? So then it makes you go back here. Wow, this really is a trap. Look at this. Okay, wow, well, and this is why this aisle here ends up jutting out into the cars and people end up going to the other trolley trap. Yes, I see exactly how it works now. Let's finish this video off with a revisit to the Thornley Skate Park, which is where our train was pelted with a rocket, smashed the glass, very scary. Sent a letter to the local council. They told me, Leo, we're going to send people out there to clean up the skate park. And let's take a look, see how clean it is. Remember, this is an alcohol-free zone. Okay, I won't say any more from here on because I want to hear the sound of the trains.